Hey, what's up, y'all? On my way to the job right now, man. Still, I'm still like, <clears throat> still um messed up about that Kobe Bryant news, man. That's that's um that's a tough one to swallow. That's gonna hurt, man, for a while. He he um he meant a lot, like more than basketball to a lot of people. And you know when you see it, you you, you see the people doing the interviews and all that. You understand just how tight it tight he was with a lot of people and um like the stuff he did that that a lot of guys in the NBA want to emulate right now you know they want to they want to be what he is you know um dude was just a crazy competitor man i mean me being a Boston Celtics fan he done um he done crushed my, crushed a lot of my nights, man. Took that championship from us, man. But, you know, it's all good, man. Everybody's better for it. And then at the end of the day, you, you, it's just a game. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you really, right now, you see how small it is and unimportant it is, man. Um, just a game, you know. So much, you know, just so much got lost yesterday. So much got lost yesterday. Um, his life, eight other people, man. His daughter, you know, his daughter's life. There's a lot that got lost yesterday. And it just put a lot in perspective, man, for a lot of people. You know, um, like, you, you gotta you gotta live. Definitely gotta live. You know, you can't be scared to live, man. You gotta live it to the fullest. And, um, you just gotta do what you can while you here, man. You know, be the best you can be while you here. Cause you know us, we we love to um, we love to tell people how good they was. You know, when they gone and all that good stuff, man. But um, I'm trying to get my little angle right here. But you know, probably this side probably be better. Nah, definitely this side. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a, that was a rough one. It's gonna be a rough one. Even if you wasn't a Lakers fan, <clears throat> you still gotta um, you still gotta respect what he did, man. He did a lot out there on the court, man. You know, and um, he's doing a lot for the for the for the uh, for the female basketball. You know, his daughter Gigi, who's on the plane with him. She was um she was shaping up to be a baller. So, you know, he was putting he was putting his heart and soul into that. Into um elevating women's basketball. You know, starting with the young girls. Which was dope too. You know, and um also too, prayers to everybody else that was on the helicopter too. You know, everybody just talking about Kobe, um, and his daughter. But, you know, there was a lot of other people on there affected, too. You know, I don't got the names of, of, of the, um, the, other, the other people, you know, and then the pilot and all that. But, um, yeah, man, it was a rough day. And, and then a lot of guys had to play. A lot of dudes that was, you know, that he touched in, in so many ways, man. They had, to, they had to go out there and do their job yesterday because at the end of the day, man, it, it's, it's a job and it's a profession and it's a billion, billion, billion dollar industry. So, and, but, and then everybody showed respect, though. Everybody showed respect to him. So that was, that was, that was nice to see, too, you know. Um, and people was like, oh, they should cancel the games. They should cancel the game. I mean, and, and they could have made that decision to cancel the games. They could have they could have made that decision to cancel the games. But, um, uh, like I said, it's their profession, man. And, and you know, and it's, and it's a billion-dollar industry. It's huge. And basketball's global. And, and people in other countries wanted to probably get info and and you know show their you know because when they when they when they when teams did the 24 second clock and the moment of silence you know 
once you know once everybody figured out it happened he was so he was so big globally i'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of the stuff was televised in other countries china italy and all that you know all over the world probably but um you know it is what it is like brett Favre's father had passed away and he played he played the next day you know so and had one of his best games, you know, like Trey Young. It's, I mean, it's just, it's just rough all the way, all around the board, man. And um, you know, the guys had to do what they had to do. The league, the commission, everybody. I mean, it wasn't an easy decision. I'm pretty sure. And you know, people mad at the decision, but you can't really be mad at the decision, you know, because, because, and then you got to think about him. Kobe was going hard, regardless. So, he would have what? He would have wanted um, them to go play. You know, Carmelo said it best. Carmelo said it best, and him and Carmelo is um, real close friends. You know, and, and Carmelo said it best. He would have wanted me to play. You know, and was and which means he would have wanted everybody to play. You know, um, just a bad, just a bad situation, man. You know, rest in peace to Cole, to the Mamba, you know, to his daughter and everybody else that was on that helicopter, man. I'll talk to y'all.